The voice is telling Peter, get up and eat. Eat whatever you want to eat. But we will see what exactly this mission, a vision means. And the voice has to tell Peter, Peter, do not hesitate to go. If he would not have heard the voice, he probably would have gone. We will see in a moment. Peter went down and said to the man, I'm the one you are looking for. Why have you come? The man replied, We have come from Cornelius the centurion. He's a righteous and God fearing man who is respected by all the Jewish people. Despite that Caesarea Maritima was a pagan city built by Herod the Great with temples, there was still a Jewish community in the midst of them. We know this both historically by a historian, <coughs> bless you, by a Roman centurion, sorry, by a Roman um, historian who actually he was Jewish, his name was uh, Josephus Flavius. We know there was a synagogue in Caesarea Maritima, and archaeologically it has been found. So we know that there was a Jewish community in Caesarea Maritima, despite of the fact there was a pagan city. A holy angel told him to have you come to his house so that he could hear what you have to say. And then Peter invited the man into the house to be his guest. Kind of like that, what did James say, you know, stay over, stay in my house, <laughs> even though this is not Peter's house, it is someone else's house, but they allowed these three men to stay for the night. They must be tired, but they walk from Caesarea Maritima and down to Jaffa. The next day, Peter started out with them, and some of the brothers from Hopa or, or Jaffa went alone. See, Peter is not going alone. Those brothers also want to find out what's going on. The following day, he arrived at Caesarea. I mean, it's not the same day. It's taking them a day to arrive there. Cornelio was suspecting them and have called together his relative and close friend. So right there, we have a gathering. As Peter entered the house, Cornelio met him and fell at his feet in reverence. But Peter made him get up and stand up. And he said, I'm only a man myself. Peter could have taken that glory for himself. How many times we see people taking the glory that do not belong to them? Amen. Talking with him, Peter went inside and found a gathering of people. And he said to them, You are well aware that it's against our law for a Jew to associate with a Gentile or visit him. Wait, 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 wait. What is Peter saying? You are well aware that it's against our law for a Jew to associate with a Gentile or visit him. There's no way in the Bible says that. It is actually say is not to go after their God and worship them. But this is what is called uh, tradition. That was the tradition of the time. What is called an oral <coughs> tradition, we later on written down by the second century after the destruction of the temple. <coughs> Remember when Jesus said, and you heard so and so. When you heard, and you go back to the to the five book of Moses, it's not there. What Jesus is speaking is the tradition that was um, 
relevant at that time period. You see? And this is him. Jesus this morning when we were speaking was willing to go to the house of the centurion's house and visit him. He did not reply. He did not say it is against our law. But he was willing to go. That's why the voice has to tell Peter, do not hesitate to go. I am sending them. 